What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Beam System tool in Revit 2022. Alright, so we're going to add it to the frame of our structure. So from the Structure tab, Structure panel, you can see here the Beam System. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to this area here. This is where I'm going to place it. So let's say I'm going to place it in this area. And also this area here okay so let's start that so let's click the beam system here the shortcut is BS and then from the beam system so make sure automatic beam system here is selected and then after that the beam type that I will be using you can select from here actually you can select other types here but for this one I'll just use a uh, 12 by 24 concrete Okay, you can actually change it here as well on the instance properties. You can select from here. So we are going to select here concrete rectangular beam 12 by 24. And then for the layout rule, so instead of fixed distance, by the way, you can also change it here on your options bar. So instead of fixed distance, so I will be using here maximum spacing of 6 feet. Okay, and then after that, um, I'm going to make sure that the tag on placement is turned on so that as I place my beam system, the tag will be placed as well. So the tag style here, you can specify as a system or by uh, framing. Okay, but I'll just use the default here, the system. Okay, so let's do this. So after you set that up, so you move your pointer and then you hover your pointer here this area on between the 1 and 1.1 grid so as you can see there's the preview of your beam system so you just click that to place it and voila okay and same with here so let's say that's horizontal so let's say i want vertical here so i'm gonna hover my pointer here and then you can see the symbol again or the preview and then you click to place it there you go so there's the tag and then after that i'm going to select here modify okay so it's very fast now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to open the 3d view default 3d view and let's have a look so again just like your other model so it also contains our analytical model here for our uh, beam system so you can click that so that's your uh, beam system properties Okay, so that's it for this uh, quick video. On our next video, let's try to sketch a BIM system because for this one, we have created it automatically. Okay, so next video, we are going to learn how to use the, oh, oh, sorry, zero to next video, we are going to learn how to use a uh, sketch BIM system. All right, okay, so thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.